Today is a special day for 3DS emulation because a huge Folium update just dropped for iOS and with it comes some huge quality of life improvements for adjusting settings as well as layout. I'm going to show you the optimal settings for best performance using a third party gamepad and as a bonus, show you how to load sheets. Let's get started. First things first, after you update, launch the app, you'll notice there's a new green button next to Citrus. Tap the green button and let's walk through the optimal settings. First tap core, set your CPU clock to 10%, Uncheck Use New 3DS and check Use LLE Applets. That's it for Core. Next is Region. Tap Region, set to Auto, you're good to go there. Uncheck Region, tap Renderer, tap Shaders, check SPIRV Shader Generation, check Async Shader Compilation, check Use Hardware Shaders, uncheck Accurate Shader Mool, uncheck Use Shader JIT. That's it for Shaders. Make sure Async Presentation is checked, Use New VSync is checked, Resolution Factor to 1, let's check Textures. Texture filter, set to none. Texture sampling, game controlled is checked. Uncheck use custom textures, uncheck preload textures, and make sure async custom loading is checked. That's it for textures. Next, tap layout and layout option. I love the mobile landscape. You can play with this. I'm gonna show you now with a gamepad how this looks. For custom layout, I don't have anything checked. And that's it for layout. And that's it for all our settings. We're gonna leave audio as is, and you have a reset settings button there if you need it. Let's do our test with Pokemon Omega Ruby. I'm gonna launch the game right now. All right, once the game launches, I'm gonna show you how the on-screen display looks. I love this layout, okay? This is our mobile landscape layout. Touchscreen works, gamepad looks good, sneak controls work, everything looks good here. Okay, I'm really liking this. Now let me show you what happens when we connect to gamepad. I've got my GameSir gamepad right here. We're gonna sneak the controller in. Let's connect the gamepad. And look at that, on-screen controls just disappear and everything just works right out of the box. This is beautiful. This is a huge update and performance is just buttery smooth as well. All right, last things last, let me show you how cheats work. This is really easy. Make sure you have the RuneStone app installed. This is gonna help you manage cheats. Navigate to on my iPhone, navigate to Folium, go to the Citrus folder, and then Sheets. This is where you're gonna put your cheats. Make sure your file is named after the title ID, and then make sure Citra enabled is added to the top of your cheat. That's it, and cheats work. You can see here that I'm using an outline remover cheat, and when I go into a battle, you'll notice that there's no outlines on both the character and the Pokemon. That's it for this update, enjoy.